Well, welcome back. We got a nice wet, wintry day here. It's supposed to get like almost six, eight inches of snow tomorrow. So today would be a good day. I figured I'd work in the shop and maybe do an oil change on the little side by side we got. A little nicer in here. Did get the trailer in the shop, kinda. Technically it fits, I guess. But yeah, it's nice having it stored inside and nice and dry because it does get wet here. So what I got is a 2016 Cub Cadet Challenger 500. Do an oil change on it. And a couple items I've learned on the first change. Um, there's a couple items, the, the oil filter and the drain cap. They're sort of a, a bugger to get off. Um, the filter, it's just a dinky little thing. This thing right here. Got this on Amazon. Just Googled the uh, Cub Cadet Challenger 500 and it popped this one up. Funny thing is the part number that was on the website, it's nowhere stamped on the filter. And then on the box itself, that's not the number that was on the website either. So, I mean, it looks like the original one, so I'm sure it'll be all right. I opted without the, the little nut on the end of it saw too many videos of that nut leaking. It was just sort of pop riveted on or not really pop or tack welded on. And it would leak on some of the guys that were putting them on. So I figured I'd put one without it. And the first one I took off, this is the second oil change on it. You know, it, there's not a lot of room in there. I ended up using just a pair of um, oil filter wrench, basically, that would wrap around it. But it was a bugger to get off. And I've got a little a new one, it's from Lyle. I'll give it a try and see how this works. Uh, had good reviews on it. It worked really good for tight spaces, so we'll give that a try. But the other one is the cap. This cap, man, it's it can be a bugger to get off, mainly because of the depth of that, that oh, I guess the, the bolt head. It's real shallow. It's a cast aluminum material. And if you're not careful, um, you can round these points off real easy. And then it makes it almost impossible to get this cap off the drain pan. In fact, I had a commenter just last week said that he was pulling his cap off, struggling. He rounded the, uh, the corners off, he kept going after it, and he ended up breaking this thing off. And the oil just drained right out through the hole that he put in it. And now he's stuck trying to figure out how to get this broken cap off of the bottom of his motor. And the, um, the skid plate on the underneath the side of that thing, it's welded on. So you can't really get a, you know, like vice grips or something up on on that thing. It's going to be, I don't know. I don't know what you do to get that cap off. Uh, any ideas or suggestions for him would be greatly appreciated. You can leave them down in the comments. But yeah, well, uh, in fact, mine that's on there now, it's it's already starting to, Heck, just the two oil changes that have been done on it, one by the, the dealer and then one by me, these corners are, are rounding off. So I'll replace that one. Hopefully I can get it off. So we'll get set up and um, get the seats out, get this thing up on some ramps, put some jacks under it, and see if we can make a mess. So here's the 19 millimeter I'm going to use. I don't know if you can see it, but these corners are already rounded off. And look how much play there is in that. Here's the new cap. Very little play. And that's where you get into trouble. And you definitely want a six point. You don't want to be using no 12 point. It'll really round it off. So a six point socket and a 19 millimeter, but boy, be careful not stripping that. If you do, it's worth spending a few bucks and getting a new one of those and throwing that throwing out away and get a, a replacement to go back in. So let's give this a try, see if we can pull that plug out. And broke it loose. I'll get the drain pan set up before I start leaking here. Went ahead and put some paper towels in behind it because when this thing comes off, there's a spring 
in behind the cap so when you pull the cap off the spring wants to push the cap off and there's a little filter inside there but it makes a mess so I'm just preparing for it a previous video on my first oil change and at this point here I had a number of commenters that were saying that there was water in the oil as it came out I'm not sure how the water got in there but this oil here looks pretty water free and this is the filter wrench I'm gonna be using I've never used one for it's made by a company called Lyle uh, they make a, a lot of really nice tools I've been researching them a little bit made in USA I think it's in Iowa um, this is for a really small filter, but may, they make different sizes. And it's spring-loaded. Put a 3 8 drive on that. I'm hoping there's enough room. I mean, there's not a lot of clearance around that, that filter on the machine. So, I don't know. This profile is pretty big. But you get it in there, and it, it just sort of tightens as you, as you spin it off. And we'll see if I got enough room in there. Show you what we got here. That filter, as you can see, there's not a lot of clearance around it on the bottom side, especially. And we'll see how this uh, wrench grabs it. See if I can even get it on. Okay, went on. We'll give it a try. See if I can spin it. Oh yeah. Easy. I didn't put it on real tight the first time, or that last oil changer should say. But yeah, it um it spun pretty easy. I spoke too soon. I think I'll try my wrench. Oh yeah, that should be loose. There it is. Oh yeah. Good to go. Get some papers under it. And try to keep the oil from going all over the place. Can't remember how messy this part was or how much oil was still in the filter. Well, they certainly got a lot of threads on it. A little bit of oil on the O-ring, a little bit on the base. it fits. And I don't like to tighten them very much. I try to get it as tight as I can by hand. And if it does leak, you can always come back and tighten it, but yeah, over tighten it. You're, you're gonna cuss it the next time you take it off. 
I get filter on, throw some oil in it. I'm gonna go with um I got some Massimo UTV, it's a 10W40 four-stroke motor oil for little ATVs and wet clutches that these are. And that should take care of it. This unit takes 2.2 quarts. You can be a little over that. It's not going to hurt it. I usually do. I'll throw in maybe a little under two and a half. And that should be about it. I think that's about it. Put the oil 2.2 or maybe two and a half gallons of uh, motor oil in it. Checked it. It's between the empty and full. And I think that's a win. I think I'll order another cap just to have one on hand, the, the drain cap. Even though the, the one I put in, the new one, didn't seem to strip at all and it still looks good, but it wouldn't hurt to have a spare. So that's about it for now. Thanks for hanging out. If you have any questions on this, I'll leave a question or an answer in the, and I'll try to answer in the comment for you. And until then, I'll see you on the next one.